I think that virtual reality right now is in a similar place to where personal computing was in the 80s, where there were a lot of people looking at it and saying, like, people aren't going to buy a computer to put in their house. It's ridiculous. Um, you know, there's too much of a learning curve. What is it going to be used for? There's no content for it. Um, and I think that the situation that virtual reality is in is very similar where it's a new device, it's going to have new usage, it's very unclear what those usages are going to be. So to say, in 10 years, this is exactly what VR is going to look like, I don't <laughs> have no idea. I do think it's going to be as widespread and as adopted as personal computing was and as mobile phones have been, um, simply because the quality of the experiences and the potential for the quality of those experiences is just extraordinary. Um, but in terms of what all of that is going to be, I think that the exciting thing about it is that it's sort of limitless and it's, it's up to us to figure it out.